Hey, real quick, did you guys know that I've actually reacted to the whole first season of Demon Slayer, as well as the entire Mugen Train movie? So if you want to be caught up with my reactions, go check out those videos before watching this. Now, let's get into... Season 2, baby! You know, for, for real this time. Oh god, this is gonna be hype! Oh god, this is gonna be sad. Would you guys stop making me relive this? How the hell am I supposed to move on? <laughs> Oh, please stop crying, my little pig baby. Oh, I could be. I could be significantly happier. But that's an emotion this show refuses to let me have. Oh, shit. I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, y'all got a demon. Muzan-sama. That's Muzan? Careful, ah, cause I don't chat with him for too long, it's almost his bedtime. Cool. Yo, he don't give a fuck about his homework. Muzan's like, suck a dick, Dickens! Akatsa. Akatsa. Christ, Akatsa's is really going through it. Go through it more. You suffer for taking my flaming barn owl from me. <laughs> oh, please make Rangoku's little brother a character. I will protect this boy with my life! <gasps> Um, so are one of you guys gonna kick this guy's ass, or am I gonna have to? Yo, somebody fucking animate me! I'm about to beat this man's ass! Ah, uh, no! Oh, of course Tanjiro's got some secret hidden power that's like better than all the other powers. Damn it, now Tanjiro's gonna become OP. Oh, oops, never mind. I forgot the show was incredible. My bad, Tanjiro. Carry on. Man, poor Tanjiro. Rengoku's death is really taking its toll on- My god, your winged eyeliner is impeccable. Dog, there isn't a brother in the world more supportive than Rengoku. You fucking take up knitting if that's what you want to do. You do whatever it takes to make that sweet Ronald McDonald looking ass happy. Man, this show is still so beautiful. Oh my god, it's a demon! Oh, it's just the swords master. Oh, never mind, this is worse! Oh shit, the boys are getting absolutely yoked! Look at how fucking cut my boy Swoljero's get! No more Zenitsu, we're looking at Zenthiksu, baby! Inosuke? More like getting them hoes, Kay! Oh my god, here's the JoJo's character just making off with all the women. Oh, too many women! Oh yeah, too many dark! Who taught you that word? Oh shit, it's the boys! Yo, this is very quickly becoming my favorite anime trio. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Happy New Year. Boy, did you hate my blurred screen idea from the last video. Obviously, I did that to avoid copyright issues, um, you guys hated it, so we're not gonna do that again. That's right, baby, Demon Slayer is a face cam reaction series now. I, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. But let's, let's push that aside for now. How's everybody's new year? Oh, my, my new year? My year's going great. I visited my girlfriend for two weeks, crashed my car, whoopsie, toured a lovely museum in Philadelphia, it blew me away, had my car vandalized, a whoopsie, and have fallen way behind on my Demon Slayer reaction schedule. Jesus Christ, it is January 11th. 11th. So I hope you guys are doing significantly better than I am, and I figure what better way to get my mind off of my plethora of car-related troubles than, uh, watching some Demon Slayer. You know what? I don't like this guy's attitude. Oh, Zenitsu's not having it either. He's creepy. One of your eyes is slipping out of your skull. Look, this guy sucks so far, but I do really want to see him fight. I am a big sucker for chain weapons. They're not as cool as chain sickles, but I'm down to see whatever his chain swords can do. <laughs> All right, Zenitsu, let's get it, buddy. Hopefully getting him laid will finally chill him out. <laughs> okay, confirmed. Tengen sucks. You're telling me this bedazzled Happy Meal toy is gonna replace Rengoku? Not in my heart. Not 
For the love of God, please let Zenitsu get laid. This guy's gonna die by the age of 30 from all this pent-up aggression. These are his wives? Tengen is swimming in women! I knew he had three wives, but I didn't know each one was an absolute dime piece! <laughs> Come on, that's ridiculous. What can, like... What comment can I even make? What, imagine the hubris I would have to have to think I could come up with an original joke that hasn't already been said about that girl's giant melons. Oh, now this I can work with. First off, this is the ugliest Powerpuff Girl cosplay I've ever seen. Zenitsu looks like Ronald McDonald and Tanjiro looks like a hard-boiled egg. Also, is this show really gonna act like Inosuke isn't the prettiest little pig in the barn? Why'd they even put makeup on him? Inosuke already looks like a chick. Oh, hold on now. Yeah, I just wanna let you know. The back of your head is ridiculous. All right, Tengen letting the hair down? Josh, are you cooking? Oh no! Okay, now I think, uh, you know, maybe we've all been a little too judgmental in regards to Tengen. I said from the beginning, remember? I, I said, man, this guy? I, I like the look of this guy. I said, I can't, this guy's gonna be a good character. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Zenitsu, I'm going through the exact same crisis right now. Uh, hold on now. In my fawning over the deep lavender pools of Tengen's eyes, it would seem that I have overlooked the fact that he is trying to sell the boys as prostitutes. Um... Why is he trying to sell the boys as prostitutes? Tanjiro got sold already, right? <laughs> Is Tanjiro getting banged right now? That's exactly what I'm saying. Is it just me? Or is this fucking dope? How does Zenitsu ever have trouble getting women? Just bust out the Seamusin, my guy. There's no, absolutely no chance I pronounced that right. Let me have it. Let me fucking... Just come at me. Hi. You know Tanjiro's feeling himself in that makeup. Oh. Okay, well. Hype! I'm into it! Why- when did Demon Slayer get so horny, though? All the characters are prostitutes now, Tengen's wives all have triple Gs, and now this bonded shit, like, I'm not complaining, just making observations. Last night, I was trying to put away some pasta that I'd made. But we were all out of Tupperware, and so I'm walking around and I'm all like, Oi, where's all me Tupperware? But it's all full of pasta! I had already made pasta! How could I have forgotten that two nights before, it was already pasta night? I'm 23 years old! Why do I have Alzheimer's? Now I'm shoveling Alfredo down my dumb fucking hole, because I got nowhere better to put it. Went to bed mad. Woke up pissed. Now I gotta fucking do, do, do. make the funnies about a show I'm six weeks behind on. Anyway, anyway, how's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Time to get right back into Demon Slayer. Fuck, I forgot the lamp! <laughs> Anosuke is about to go through an awakening. Boy has no idea what he's about to walk in on. <laughs> You see, that's a good attitude. Keep that energy, but skip the whole obsessive psycho bit that usually follows it. God, the colors in this show are so gorgeous. That's it, no joke, just appreciation. Ooh, oh my god! Okay, not great. Good intentions, flawed execution. Does Zenitsu not sound like a man? Tengen told Inosuke not to speak because his voice is too husky. Zenitsu sounds just as masculine. None of these boys are passing very well as women to me. God damn it! This was his moment to arc! Z Zenitsu's never gonna treat a woman respectfully again. The one time he doesn't act like an absolute lunatic around a woman. Demon. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, what a roast! Oh no! So unnecessarily mean. Jesus, I almost wish she just killed him. God forbid Inosuke has a self-esteem in this arc.
Nope. Not falling for it. I'm not gonna let him trick me again. Zenitsu has almost tricked me into liking him like six other times. And you know what? I ain't falling for it again. I love how Tanjiro's just having a nice little work day at his brothel. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> what I was saying was, I like how Tanjiro's just having a nice little work day at his brothel. My boy can make the best out of any situation. <laughs> Yeah, that's about what I expect Inosuke to be doing in his free time. Oh yeah! Inosuke ain't the Demon Slayer core breakdancing champion for nothing, bitch! This is taking an unbelievably dark turn. Oh, do you think it's maybe the yellow eyes or the fact that she keeps making women kill themselves? <laughs> Was it the snake eyes or the fact that she's mean that tipped you off? Oh shit, now she's an octopus. This is taking an unbelievably sexy turn. <laughs> I forgot how stupid Muzan looked. Why? Why would they dress him like this? You guys know who Jack White is? Why would they dress him exactly like Jack White? Don't get me wrong, he's like my favorite musician. Not my favorite anime character design. And that's episode three of Demon Slayer season two. Every time I watch this show, I'm instantly reminded of how awesome it is. Like, oh my God, the animation just doesn't ever dip. It just stays like this gotta be like the peak of animation right now in terms of television, right? I don't know, people were really into Jujutsu Kaisen when it came out, but like, I've, I don't know, that is nowhere near as good looking as this. I also really like how they're doing like a covert stealth operation right now, like that's really cool and different from what we've seen prior in the show. And yeah, like I said, I think in the last episode, I'm just really excited to see what Tengen's abilities are and to see him fight. This new demon's really cool. I really like her design and her powers seem pretty intense and hardcore. But yeah, and every time I watch the show, I regret a little more not buying the game. I think I've missed the boat on playing that though. I don't think anyone would watch videos of me playing this now like six month old game. But I don't know, maybe if I ever do Twitch, uh, that's that's the game I'll start with. Hey, you guys remember when I played like two hours of Danging Rampa and everyone told me I was just about to get to the good part and then stopped playing it for a year? Sorry about that. Do you, does anyone miss that series? Does anyone want me to continue that? Remember when I watched 11 out of 12 episodes of Given and then stopped? Sorry about that too. None of you have brought it up though, which leads me to believe it's not a total loss. But yeah, trying to make these videos a smidge longer, hence me just faffing about right now at the end. But... That's pretty much all I can milk this video for right now. Uh, so I'm gonna go eat a ton of fucking pasta. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Steven Slayer reaction series. It's been a little bit chaotic. Okay, but so far no car troubles, all right? I'm getting through the pasta. Just wanna sit here, watch a little Demon Slayer. No need for my fucking life to fall apart over it, you know? Okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> Aw, see that sweet- JESUS CHRIST, WHAT'S WRONG WITH HER EYES?! <laughs> <laughs> Tanjiro's over here getting lost in the roleplay. Stand here like, one day, I'll have my own prostitution hairpins. <laughs> Damn it, woman, I told you never to disturb me when I'm on my abacus! Abacus time is me time! <laughs> Why don't you believe him? You guys are demon slayers hunting demons. Why would he lie? Mm. Oh no, Zenitsu's missing. I hope he isn't absent for the majority of the arc. <laughs> What's the point in bandaging swords up? Why do so many anime characters do this? I can't imagine it makes cutting any easier. <laughs> Does a sword bandage the wound up right after cutting a guy? I don't, maybe, maybe it's just efficient. <laughs> So nobody was fooling anyone. How did they all get hired? Oh no, the dress demon's back. Thank God the dress demon's back. You know, I just love having some visual variety. You know, you get sick of seeing the same characters, uh, so frequently. God, God, I am in love. I just can't even remember the last time. I did you see her hips? I have never simped harder for a character in my entire life. I want this girl to crush my fucking spine. I don't even know what that means, but I want it. 
Ugh, I hate seeing his gross little piggies. Pun intended. Mice. What's happening? What's happening? Yo, Demon Slayer is not about to have me simping for mice. You've heard of Tom and Jerry, now get ready for Chad and Larry! I'm having a crisis! Look, I get that Tengen is like super sneaky and stuff, but I feel like a stealthy ninja shouldn't have a bunch of beads and chains jangling around on him. How do people not hear him rattling around all the time? <laughs> oh, what happened to the girl's body? She like becoming the scarf or something? Oh, also the demon's hot. Y you know, you guys get the drill. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing, dude? Bust out the Nezuko! Yo, I've said this before, but Demon Slayer is, like, the best at integrating CG into its 2D environments. Look at how good this looks. This is, like, CG-wise, leagues beyond anything I've seen in any other anime. Oh, okay, so episode 5 is gonna be fucking rad. That's episode 4 of Demon Slayer. I'm incredibly hyped for episode 5. That's crazy that, uh, Tanjiro's already fighting this demon, though. So, how's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Some of you may remember a couple episodes ago uh, that I had said something along the lines of, I want the dress demon from this season to uh, crack my spine in half. It has been brought to my attention that this demon is 13 years old. My bad, I'll never love a drawing again. I hereby rescind my request to have her crack my spine in half. In my defense, though, these animators are fucked. This character looks like she could be one of Tengen's 20-year-old wives. And you all saw I did my due diligence with the wives. This just goes to show you, you're never safe when watching anime. Uh, that being said, and moving away from this subject as quickly as possible, let's get on to some Demon Slayer. Because this episode promises that things are about to get real flashy. Something a lot of you have also been commenting is that this uh, season gets absolutely wild after this episode. So looking forward to that. All right, let's get into it. Oh, that is a good hug. Tengen is a primo cuddler. That wasn't even a hug. That was a that was a straight up snuggle. Oh! Oh, the bandages are coming off. Oh, his swords look sick. God, she looks like Doctor Octopus like that, or you know, like prostitute uh, Octa Poot. Some hack is right. Your sword is chewed to bits, dude. Yeah, what? Tanjiro, where is this emotional crisis coming from? Have some confidence, my guy! There we go, man! Glad we could get through that. I'm proud of you. Now go cut that chick in half. Oh! Oh no, I'm getting hyped. Oh no! After image, baby! Yo, after images are hands down the coolest anime technique. Yes, dude! Let's go! Get the hell out of here! This is the worst time for this Coraline character to intrude with a flashback. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Eating people, I understand. You know, a demon's gotta eat. I'm not unreasonable. But a mean attitude is something I will not tolerate. <laughs> Anosuke's loving this. Oh my god, please stop this. Wow, I hate this. He looks like a worm on a string. He'll crawl, flip, and perform. It's your new favorite friend. Does anyone else notice that Anosuke loves to say the word belly? He says it a ton in Mugen Train, like my girlfriend noticed too. I don't know, I mean, whatever. Anosuke's got a thing for bellies. <laughs> This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Why is Inosuke being attacked by a rejected Dora the Explorer character now? Can we get the camera off this thing? I keep waiting for her to scream. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Look at this arc! Remember in season one, Inosuke didn't give a shit about helping people? Look at how far little piggies come. Okay, thank God, these ones I can simp for. Oh shit, here comes Sleepy Boy! Okay, yeah, that's like pretty standard Zenitsu shit right there. I'm just saying it's gonna take a lot more for him to trick me into liking him again. All right, Chuck and Larry! You guys are great, never change, you're the best. Yes! Let's see him fight! Woo! Yeah, he really 
sliced that ribbon like a badass. Yo, Tengen's gotta chill with all these style changes. Every day, this show inches closer towards becoming a JoJo spinoff. That's it? A head pat? Didn't you think your wives were dead? Ladies, if I was your man, smooches, hugs, hair, braided, back, massaged. Where do you want to get dinner tonight? I'm thinking Denny's, my treat. No dessert though, I've kind of been having a lot of car troubles lately. Gotta save cash. I'd be taking them home and acting out the entirety of the promiscuous girl music video. Four straight minutes of sexual tension, no payoff. That's right, I know what women like. My point is, Tengen's showing some red flags and he's got a treat his wives better. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes! This is what I want! I fucking love chains, dude! Wait, that's not what I meant. I like chain weapons. Take it easy. That's the kind of shit I want to see out of Tengen, though. You know, I want him swinging around those swords. Dope episode, Tandro and the prostitute demon, or, you know, getting it on. Wait, that's not what I mean. They're fighting. Jesus Christ, this is a hard arc to talk about. Why would they make a whole prostitution arc full of children? Huh. <sighs> anyway, cool episode. Can't wait to watch the next one. Oh, what's that, chat? You're saying the video's only halfway over? You said the thumbnail said this was gonna be a double feature? You're saying this is YouTube and not Twitch and this bit is totally falling flat? That's right, baby, double feature! I'm, I'm sick of being so behind on Demon Slayer. We gotta catch up, we gotta keep moving. So, moving on. Since when? Has she always been wearing those shoes? Because no, she hasn't. Oh, well, that's not good. Like, barely. She turned into an onion. A, a sprout, at worst, okay? I'd hardly call this a transformation. Okay, this guy's dead. Hey, guy. I'm definitely gonna need you to get back inside. A teenager is sword fighting a magical 13 year old prostitute. This is hardly any of your business. Oh shit. Oh no, oh my god. Oh Jesus. What do you mean stay calm? He doesn't have a hand anymore. Also, does your arm even work anymore? It looks like you got sliced in half. You are way out of your depth here, Tanjiro. You're fucked, she just obliterated this town. Tanjiro can barely string two flaming cartwheels together without getting winded. What? What is happening? Yo, what? Did Tanjiro just turn into a fucking demon? Did the slash turn him into a demon? What is this crazy form Tanjiro just got? Are you fucking kidding me? What did I do wrong? Why is this show emotionally punishing me? I did not just witness Rengoku's father apologize to Tanjiro in the form of a letter and then give Tanjiro the respect and praise that Rengoku had died for and wanted his entire life. That did not just happen! In case any of you in the comments get some crazy idea that that's what just happened, I'm letting you know it didn't, because that would be fucked. That would be absolutely devastatingly fucked to put me through more emotional abuse in regards to Rengoku. I'm done, I've made my peace. We, we're finished. Let me have closure. You stabbed me in the heart, that's fine. Quit twisting the knife. Yo! Oh my God, he took her leg. What is happening right now? Where did this come from? <laughs> I love how some episodes are like inexplicably edited by an edgy 13 year old. Like, tell me that's not an effect you would find in a My Chemical Romance music video. Also, Tanjiro's dad looks like a badass. Yo, let's get those gains, Chuck and Larry! Every day, back day, chest day, arm day, thighs, buys, tries, every single day. The grind don't stop for the mice. Yo, look at this reverse arc. Tanjiro's not even trying to understand the demons anymore. Like he just wants to slaughter them. Look at this fucking shadow Tanjiro arc going on. Also, wait, where the hell is Nezuko? Has she not been cracked out of the box by now? He's too fucking sick. I'm buying this fucking game. Can somebody Steam gift me the game? If I, if I could buy this game, I would not stop playing it. If I, if I could justify buying it, I would. But I don't know if I can, but I need to play it. 
Okay, this is slowly becoming more and more uncomfortable. Like, I am becoming unbelievably nervous for this demon. I have no doubt in my mind, Tanjiro is about to mutilate this woman. Dude, stop! Stop! Tanjiro is terrifying, dude! Look at those eyes! Now is not the time for these little girls! Look, not to be weird, dude, but Tanjiro, you gotta stop thinking of little girls mid-fight. This is your second time, and it's really affecting your performance. Yo, remember when everybody used to use the episode where Tanjiro kills the spider demon as, like, the peak example of anime at its finest? Every episode of this season so far, I feel has surpassed that episode. Animation-wise, this season is unreal. Coming in from downtown with the thigh strength of a deranged horse, Nezuko knocks it out of the fucking park! That was hype, dude! That was crazy! Oh my god. Oh my god, my voice is obliterated. I'm never doing a double feature again. Dude, she blew the top of her fucking head off! Yo, I love Nezuko's fucking thighs of steel. Oh no, her thighs of steel! Yo! <laughs> Yo! Nezuko's unchained, baby! A and a plant! That's... cool. Oh my god, I feel like I haven't seen her mouth in years. Imagine all the exciting new things she'll chew. You know, it actually makes sense Nezuko's a plant. Because this chick's about to get fucking stumped! That was, hands down, the best episode of any anime I've ever seen. Right? Like, like that episode didn't quit. Dude, the pacing in this show has been non-stop. Especially, <laughs> you ready for me to upset people? Especially considering that Attack on Titan season four is happening right now. I just caught up and let me tell you, Attack on Titan is way harder to watch week to week than it is to binge. So it feels like so little happens in each episode of Attack on Titan that when I get to this, I like can't believe how much substance is in it. Oh my God. Oh my god! The hypest shit I've ever seen! How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome to another episode of My Life is in Shambles. I knew I was gonna make a video today, and so I thought, you know, let's let's really make an event out of this. Let's go clean shaven for the first time in like two years. The problem is, I couldn't find my usual razor. No, I didn't use a cheese grater, despite what you might think upon first appearance of my face. No, instead, I found this Transformers baby's first razor that had been given gifted to me and unopened since 2011. Turns out, it can barely cut paper, so what should have been a smooth, seamless shave against my face turned into a 15 minute long event that I can only describe as a man just hacking at weeds with a machete in the jungle. And at this point, I'm sure you're thinking, oh, is this about to turn into an ad for Harry's razors? Unfortunately not. I'm just embarrassed. So now, not only do I look like Christian Bale from American Psycho, but I'm also living with the shame that no man over the age of 13 should be living with. I can't believe I'm covered in not one, not two, but three cuts. But you know what? It's all good. You know why? I got my cool anime shirt on. We're gonna watch some anime, and I'm almost finally caught up with Demon Slayer. That's right, baby. Despite what every vocal coach would probably tell me, we're doing another double feature. So strap on in. Is it just me, or does Nezuko look like an entirely different woman now that she doesn't have a chunk of bamboo stuck in her mouth? <laughs> I know this is supposed to be like, oh no, Nezuko's out of control, her, her demon side is taking over her. Keep kicking her. Kick her some more, I like sadistic Nezuko. I hope she never leaves. Oh! Yo, Nezuko's like, read the manga, bitch, this doesn't end here. That was like that bit in the Justice League where you find out that Superman moves just as fast as the Flash. Only like, you know, a thousand times more intimidating. <laughs> This whole season is so next level. Nezuko just held her severed body together by her own blood and then ignited the blood splashed onto her enemy into a goddamn fire tornado. Like that is some antagonist ass shit, okay? Those are not protagonist moves. Oh, kick her again! Woo! 
I want more kicks, never stop kicking. That's the thing about one trick ponies, you know, they may not know a lot, but they can fucking kick. Okay, yeah, Nezuko went from like 11 to 25. Oh my god, a 25 year old crack addict. God damn it, we're right back to having her muzzled. Yo, I like this Nezuko design though. Doesn't she look sick? She's like buff as hell, the horns dope. Her legs are longer. She already had an excellent soccer career ahead of her. This has only made things better. <laughs> This is brutal. <laughs> Will you just die already? They're trying to have a moment here and your Terminator looking ass is ruining it. Nezuko, Definitely let her go, dude. Nezuko's unleashed, dog. You can't releash her. <laughs> oh shit, here comes Jojo. <laughs> what do you mean she's not the one he's been looking for? This chick's been an absolute menace. I do love the massive power gap between Tanjiro and like the Hashira. Even if it makes me absolutely terrified of what upper rank demons are like. That girl was insane. I thought she was at least like a lower upper rank demon. <laughs> that is stunning. I feel like not enough people are going to appreciate how gorgeous that shot is. And I will not stand for that. <laughs> Look, I know I never say this, but this is not the time for Little Bunny Fufu. It is rarely not the time for Little Bunny Fufu. This is one of those rare occasions. Oh my god, okay, f fuck, I'm sorry I made a joke. Oh, oh, why is this horrible? Oh no, baby Nezuko! <laughs> sure, Nezuko, whatever. Oh, no! Oh, stop it. Oh, I need a bear. Oh, yeah, Nezuko kicked it out of her fucking skull. <coughs> Will you just die already? How is this girl still alive? Oh, she's throwing a little tantrum. <coughs> Brother. Oh, what? Bruno? Seven foot frame lives inside your back. Talks insane and looks kind of whack. <gasps> Sickles. Oh my god, you put some chains on those guys? My hype meter will be devastated. Okay, well, we definitely don't need to be gassing up Tengen anymore. Okay. Who let Tim Burton design a character? He looks like he hangs out at Spencer's Gifts to groom high schoolers. That being said, I kinda love him. <laughs> Bullied you? Weren't you literally bullying girls into killing themselves? Oh yeah, Nosuke's here! And Zenitsu still asleep? Very good. Yo, what a lineup! We got Tengen, a Nosuke, a sleep Zenitsu. This next episode's gonna be sweet! <laughs> I know, we're all very upset about it. You wanna know another thing this show does incredibly well? The momentum in this show is incredible, and it's something I think a lot of people don't realize is so hard to nail. It's just one thing building on top of another, and I feel like a lot of shows and movies, like anime especially, run into the trap of like, something happens, like a big event will happen, and then you know, there's a calm down, and then some other entirely random event will happen. Like, it is deceptively hard to make, a st to structure a story where it's like, okay, this happens, and then as a result, this happens because of this, and then this happens because of this, and then this happens because of this. When a story's events start building on each other, and there's never a moment where you feel like there's a conclusion, and then a whole nother arc picks up entirely separate of the previous one, that's when you get a show with unstoppable momentum that just keeps you watching episode to episode. It's set up and payoff, you know? It's like action and consequence. And that's just something the show does really well. All right, anyway, double feature, you know the drill. Moving on. Hey, sorry to stop the video, um, but I just woke up. I The video was supposed to be published by now, but I just woke up and received like a ton of DMs from people saying that they wanted to support the channel. Like no joke, out of nowhere, just a ton of you reached out to me on Instagram, which is unbelievably sweet. Like, I, I really, I can't describe how appreciative I am of all of you guys. Somebody Steam gifted me the Demon Slayer game? 
which was wild. Snowguy128 is a Steam profile, very cool guy. Uh, objectively, one of the coolest snowmen I've ever encountered. Wildly unlike other snowmen I've ever met, and I don't, you know, I don't want to get political here. Typically, the snowmen I've encountered in my life, they're always sliding into your house, eating up your Campbell's chicken noodle soup, melting into a little boy. Snowguy128, absolutely unlike that. Really nice guy. Really, really changed my perception on the snowman community. So yeah, expect content from the Demon Slayer game coming up soon. Uh, I've got a couple ideas of what kind of videos I want to make with it. But yeah, I just want to stop the video real quick and thank you guys all so much for your continued support. And to say that I have set up a Ko-Fi account or coffee, however you pronounce it. Um, for anyone who does want to support the channel, uh, I've been meaning to set up a Patreon for some time, but I didn't want to do it until I could like be sure that I could deliver exclusive content to the people who subscribe to like a higher tier. I have set up a Patreon. If you guys want to check it out, that will be in the description of this video as well as the Ko-Fi. Again, there's no content on it yet, um, but I am meaning to put on like a 15 minute long uh, reaction to Food Wars episodes like one through four or one through three, whatever gets me to roughly 15 minutes. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys again. Like your support is honestly what allows me to do this and you guys have been so incredibly sweet both like in the comment sections of these videos and like in my dms on instagram but again i just want you guys to know for certain the patreon is like not it's still in beta. Ko-Fi is a website that allows you to just like send kind of like tips without having to like subscribe to a creator. So that may be a little easier and manageable for people. And yeah, I really just want to thank you guys and let you know how you could support the channel. Like again, I like those messages make my day every time I get somebody asking like how they can support the channel or like how much they like the content. Uh, but yeah, uh, without further ado, allow me to go back to being a raging douchebag. Oh yes, put the little baby back in her box. No more pain for Nezuko. Yo, I cannot believe that this fight is still going on. Like, in the best way possible, this has been a four episode long fight with unbelievable animation. Like, what a, what a fucking treat. Have I been a good little clam? Is that what's happening? Have I been a good little clam to deserve such a treat? Dude, you're nine feet tall, 300 pounds, and covered in diamonds the size of softballs. Talented is the first word I would use to describe you. So you are goddamn right about that. Oh shit, the poison is definitely working. Either that, or this dude's turning into an eggplant. And considering that Daki turned into an onion and Nezuko became plants, you know, I'm not gonna rule it out. Tengen, these are not things healthy people say. Oh, look at the desperation in his face. Okay, quick side tangent again, but that is the kind of stuff that makes the action scenes so great in this show. So many anime fight scenes have characters looking calm or badass the entire time, or they'll, at worst, they'll do like a, yeah. But Demon Slayer is so good at making these characters feel like professional killers. Like they're confident, but they understand just how dangerous their threat is, you know? Like, I feel like there's never a moment where the characters are like, don't worry, I can't lose to this guy. The Slayers always know just how serious their job is and that any mistake can mean death. Like, that, and that's what makes these fights so tense, man. I'm gonna love you. <laughs> Chains, baby! Finally getting the chain action I've been wanting. Yeah, no, for sure, that's a tough problem to have. And the party has arrived! Oh my god, and Tanjiro's back? Yo, the Demon Slayer hype train truly never slows down. <laughs> Tanjiro, your clavicle's been cut in half. I don't know, maybe that's a factor. Holy shit, yo. Do people, like, know you have a room? Like, do people understand your situation beyond this room? Like, do they, they do now. Oh god. <laughs> You, just hang you have hangers is the worst part. Yeah, that's what Sarah have, says too. Yeah, if you didn't have hangers, people might be like, oh, he doesn't have hangers. He just uses, you know, his dresser. No. But you have hangers. You know what? What? They know I have a dresser too. Look in the dresser. There's no clothes in there. Let me, you know what? Can I take them? What are you doing? I'm going to take them. What are you doing? We're going to go. <laughs> I'm going to take them. This is Danny's clothes situation. <laughs> I know this isn't making it in. Did you steal the lamp? 
Where'd that lamp come from? Don't, yeah, don't even worry about that. Did you take that lamp from the living room? Don't worry about that. Sorry about that. As you can see, Josh relit my entire room. So let me know in the comments if you like this half of the video's lighting better than the previous half of the videos. Anyway, moving on, Demon Slayer. Can Inosuke just, like, knock Zenitsu into a permanent coma? Like, show of hands, who actually wants to see this guy wake up? That's what I thought. He can still talk? This show has a loose definition of what being asleep is. Oh boy, I feel a tragic backstory coming on. Here it comes, we're nearing the end of the fight, so that means the demon's gotta get redeemed all of a sudden. Oh my god, this girl never stops transforming. Yeah, that checks out. Come on, who didn't see that coming? Also, Tanjiro is still so out of his league here. I don't know, maybe they should stop sending him on missions. Let him go through a time skip or two so he can catch up with the Hashira. Anosuke, you turned into a literal worm last episode. Who are you to be insulting people? <laughs> Tanjiro, please do something. If another Hashira dies the moment I start to actually care about him, I'm gonna crash my car into a pencil factory. And you know that threat is true because it is too specific not to be. There we go, buddy! Way to pitch in! Oh, and there we go! Emotional crisis conquered! Oh my god, dude turned into a whole ass fireworks show! Guy straight up became the 4th of July for a second! Okay, solid plan! That's cool, Tanjiro realizing that he's more help just getting the demon out of the way rather than head on fighting it. Oh shit, Tengen's got wives! Oh shit, his wives are crazy! What a wild move! You're gonna kill everybody! Oh my god, what a badass! What a badass! I mean, um... Yeah, Tengen's, you know, he's fine. He sucks. Tengen sucks, dude. I gotta watch- <laughs> I gotta watch what I say. Tashira be dying left, right, and center here. Don't fuck him up, Tengen! I mean, you suck! I mean, yes! Oh, that's not good. This fight is super not over. There's absolutely no way they would end this episode with Tanjiro about to kill the demon if he was gonna die in the first, like, 15 seconds of the next episode. Like, I don't know, maybe that's obvious to everybody, but I'm just letting you know that I know that we have at least a full episode worth of fight left. Maybe half. Well, I'd, I'd settle for half of an episode worth of fighting. All I'm saying is it's, it's not that cut that's gonna kill this demon. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? My name's Danny Mata, the man with the nose that just never seems to end. Who's ready for some more Demon Slayer? This season has been an absolute cyclone of stress and hype, and this episode promises to finally put an end to all of our anxiety. The problem is, I'm not buying it. This show has hurt me way too many times before, so I'm not letting my guard down until these demons definitively turn to ash. That being said, it hasn't been all bad. I've actually learned a lot of valuable life lessons along the course of this reaction series, such as to never use autofocus again, and that I need to stop looking at my monitor so goddamn much. Every day the channel gets better, but don't worry, the bar, it isn't too high. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, never mind, I guess they're defeating the demon. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Is this foreshadowing? This better not be foreshadowing! We're like three minutes into this episode! Don't make me fucking sad already! Um, yeah. We're literally at their grave. Anybody else got a dumb question? Damn it, Suma, you dumb bitch! Why did she get on her case like that? Damn it, Makio, you dumb bitch! I mean, yeah, for sure. Think he could just go around having three wives with no consequences? Tengen, your wife is crying out for attention right now. Can you just love her? Oh god, I found him! Oh no, what? Don't cut to a flashback! Oh, this girl's super dead! Somebody isn't making it out of this fight. There have been way too many nostalgic flashbacks for this to end happy. Don't act like I don't know what's going on here, okay? I'm not getting attached to one of these goddamn wives! Or Tengen, you're not- 
You're not tricking me with anybody. Throw your sword, dude. Oh shit, flaming water. Oh, that's sick. Tandro's unlocking a ton of shit lately. Was that fucking Zenitsu? What do his balls drop when he falls asleep too? That sounded like a grown ass man. That was a horrendous noise. I never want to hear a Nosuke get that excited about anything ever again. Let, al let alone a woman's neck. Sound like somebody was trying to stuff a goose through a paper towel roll. <laughs> Who like possesses Zenitsu when he falls asleep? This is an entirely different man. <laughs> oh, take his head off. Yo, that's fine. Tengen's got another sword. Okay, never mind. Goddamn. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was awesome. Fuck, you guys are cool. The level of badassness from the characters in season one to now is like, there's like a trench in between. <laughs> Did Inosuke just discover the meaning of friendship? Is Inosuke's heart growing three sizes this day? I think he did. I think Inosuke just went through a full character arc right now. Yo, is this about to become the Inosuke episode? Are we about to get a whole ass pig episode right now? <laughs> Inosuke! Yo, honestly, truly, Inosuke may be my favorite anime character. Oh my god, what's happening? Yo, look at the teamwork! Oh my god! Oh! Saw her fucking head off, dude! Inosuke's the best! I'm getting Inosuke tattooed on every inch of my body. Arms, Inosuke. Legs, Inosuke. Chest, Inosuke. Face, Inosuke. He is just too hype and too wholesome and too good to not have that kind of appreciation. Oh my god, that was fucking hype though. That was so good, the whole team working together. Oh my god, now Tengen's just gotta fucking kill that green guy. <laughs> okay, hear me out. I want a rom-com spin-off featuring Inosuke in this head. They could go to Paris, have wacky confrontations with each other's in-laws. She's classy, he's boorish, a wink-wink. It's the perfect setup. We'll call it Everything's Coming Up Inosuke. <laughs> no, 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 what, 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 what? No, 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 no! What the fuck? Oh, what? What? He's not dead, is he? Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, and he just arced. He just arced. What? That's fucked up. I... I'm not in the mood to exist right now. There's like absolutely no way he's dead, right? What? Every- Why is everybody fucking dead? Take the wives! Take all the wives! Give me back a Nosuke! What? Why would they do this? Tengen's straight up missing a hand and Inosuke's got a fucking poison sickle through his heart. If Inosuke's dead, I'm done supporting Demon Slayer. I can't be in this abusive relationship anymore. Like, I I feel like no one could want that for me, right? I can't believe... Why Inosuke? Take the wives. Take literally all the wives. Give me like a 40 minute sequence where the wives are just dying painfully and slowly. I'll even give you Tengen. Take Zenitsu. I'll even... If you haggle me down, I'll give you Nezuko. I will not he just found the meaning of friendship i'll be lucky to ever smile again that's it that's the best i can do that's the best i can manage right now if inosuke dies that's the end for danny mata <laughs> danny, no. are you kidding me <laughs> i can't believe it would end that way oh my god oh my god that was horrible i was so like you were saying, I was so, like, I was like, oh, that's cute, and Nosuke's got the head. He just had this hype little moment where he proved himself to all of his friends, 
and then like Tengen's missing a hand, and Nosuke gets torn asunder. Quite awful. It's too much. Um, There's nobody left to kill this fucking green demon now, too. You don't think Tanjiro's got it? With his what are you talking about? Tanjiro's fucking cut in half. Tanjiro's been cut in half for like three episodes. I know the second we got a backstory with her, I was like, this girl's fucking dead. Like, don't, I'm not, I'm not getting attached to somebody. Are you out of your mind? Did she die? No, I don't know. Not yet. I wish if anyone was going to die. Can you imagine if that's why they were doing it? Like as a fake out where they're like, oh, the tragic backstory with the third wife. And then it's like, psych, Anosuke's dead. Oh my God. All right, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Ah! God, I'll be lucky if I don't lose all my hair from the stress this show gives me. All right, let's get this over with. Real quick though, I just wanna say, I just put out a video breaking down a lot of the really cool uh, narrative techniques in this emotionally abusive show. So when you're done watching this video, make sure to check that one out. I think it turned out great. Uh, I love doing analysis style videos like that. And I'd love to hear what you guys think about it in the comments. Also, I have a Patreon now. So if you wanna support the channel, uh, information about that is in the link below. You get one exclusive video every month and uh, your support makes sure that I can keep putting out videos as frequently as I do. Have you noticed I still haven't gotten my smile back? Yeah, me too. Anyway, on with the show. Oh, you can fuck right off with these flashbacks. Oh, you can fuck right off with these flashbacks about his sister telling him he has nothing to apologize for. You know, guys, not every episode in this season needs a tragic beginning, middle, and end. We're humans, after all, is an incredibly ironic choice of words, Dream Nezuko. Okay, they gotta chill with the CGI fire. This starting to look like one of my desktop wallpapers. God damn it! Can this guy chill out for like five seconds while everybody catches their breath? How did this not at least wake up Zenitsu? That's nice, he's gonna have a little heart-to-heart -heart chat with Tanjiro. Nice little talk between two caring older brothers. <laughs> <gasps> Why is he so fucking mean? Tanjiro's getting a full taste of what having an older brother is like right now. Did he just call him weak sauce? Man, fuck this guy. What are you, offended? You're like the meanest guy I've seen in my life. No shit he ran away. God, I hate this show. Ooh! Oh, that was one of the most painful kicks I've ever seen in my life. Tanjiro looked like he was about to throw up his own kidneys. Tanjiro, honestly, take the deal. There's a phrase that I never say because I know it's what shows want me to say. So out of spite, I like never say this. But how are they going to get out of this one? The only other time I've said that phrase was when Tyrion Lannister was on trial. So props to this show for forcing it out of me. But seriously, these are the most dire circumstances I've seen in my life. The only feasible way I could see Tondro getting out of this is by turning into a demon. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, the headbutt! Give it a second. Yeah, that's usually how it goes when you get a Tanjiro headbutt. Oh god, I hate his gross little eggplant fingers. Oh shit! Woo! Tanjiro, you're halfway through his fucking neck! Now is the worst time for self-reflection! Oh shit! Oh, Zenitsu's back! Y'all ready to taste this static cock? Oh my god. <laughs> Where is he taking her? Tanjiro, please just kill this fucking demon. My heart can't take another episode of this. Oh, let's go! Yo, another trope I love? Sword in the mouth? Always sick, never disappoints. Okay, this is a trope I hate, though. What a wild assessment. How could you possibly come to that conclusion just by looking at him? I hate the anime trope that's like, I, I fucking stop my kidneys from producing plasma to save myself from being beheaded. Anyone who watches Attack on Titan knows that that is a trope that is rampant among anime, and it is the worst. <laughs> 
Yeah, what a lunatic. Look at that smile. I love how manic Tengen is. <laughs> this fucking sick. This is like one of the hypest battles I've ever seen in any show. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God damn it! Come on! <laughs> oh, shit! Whoa, his scar's changing. <laughs> Yo, what is this new form? Since when does Tanjiro have transformations he can do? <gasps> Let's go! My roommates are gonna hate me after this. <laughs> Whatever, nonsense explanation, I don't care. Anosuke's back, baby! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, Finally! Oh my god, my voice is destroyed. Whoo! Oh my god, finally it's over. Everybody's alive. No more heartbreak. It's done. What? Shut up! Nothing seems off. They won. Fuck you! Oh my god, somebody please suck the poison out of Tanjiro. What do you mean it's not over? It's over! What do you mean? <laughs> Fuck you. How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? You know, my favorite thing about my audience is that you guys really understand that the best time to release a reaction video on an anime is two weeks after it airs. That is prime reaction time, okay? The algorithm loves it, you guys love it, everybody likes waiting for things. As you can see, I've made a pretty big move, and, you know, at first, I was a little concerned that my backdrop didn't look very nice, you know, the walls are a little bare, you, you, you can't even, you can't even fucking see my little Anosuke. I got all my, can I just fucking... Like, where do you even go now? I don't really have a ton of physical manga to display, uh, but I've got all of my absolute Sandman volumes. Nice front and center there. You know, I thought maybe it, like, wasn't classy to see my bed in the backdrop. Uh, and then I remembered that my old apartment was so bad that people in the comments genuinely actually thought that I couldn't afford clothes. If you too have concerns like that, my Patreon's linked in the description. Now, enough stalling, time to rip off the fucking band-aid that is this show. Creepy. Oh, great, a recap. Can't wait to relive these, my, my favorite Demon Slayer moments. Oh, Nezuko's coming to save the day! What, is she gonna kick the explosion away? Oh, I love Snowman Nezuko. Anytime they animate Nezuko as if she was a Canadian from South Park, all my troubles melt away. So thank God they decided to open the episode like this, uh, because my troubles were frozen solid. Arigato. Oh, real mature, Tanjiro. Nezuko just wants a hug, and he gotta hit her with the bunny ears. There isn't a fucking thought in that head, is there? <laughs> Yo, what a good fucking girl! Nezuko? More like Chocobo! Nezuko better have the best girl award in the bag at next year's Crunchyroll Awards. Tanjiro! Oh great, he's awake. Inosuke! Inosuke! Inosuke okay, my mood for the rest of this video entirely hinges on what happens in the next, like, two minutes. Dude, stop. I will not accept this. You find a way to help him this instant. Oh, what's she gonna do? What is she doing? Well, don't fucking cremate him! Oh, cool. <laughs> the entirety of my index nail paint just came right off. Okay, there goes me being edgy. Oh, thank God. Thank God! Are, are you kidding me? I would have deleted my entire YouTube page if Inosuke died. There is no world in which I rationally move on from Inosuke's death. I just simply wouldn't. Oh, Danny, you're such a baby. You get too attached to fictional characters. I agree. Regardless, I, I simply would not get over it. <laughs> Geez, sounds like a mercy killing if you ask me. With three wives, I'm surprised the guy didn't poison himself earlier. <laughs> <laughs> How 
Hi, Nezuko, Resident Demon here. Okay, that's the worst face I've ever seen. Looks like somebody's six-year-old niece fucked with the storyboards, but like the boss came in and saw it in time. And so nobody had a chance to like correct it. And they were just like, yup, I could get this to print. She looks like nine. Anybody see nine? Now you have. <laughs> Can I please get a Nezuko mount in Final Fantasy 14 or something? Oh my God, what? What is this fucking demon cat? What? Has this always been a thing? Do I just not remember this cat? Thank God we get Snowman Nezuko for like the entirety of this episode. This is the exact kind of aftercare I needed after the punishment this show put me through. Okay, here we go. Here comes the fucking, the last minute redemption, right? Right? That's like definitely what's happening right now. Yo. Like, fuck this girl. This better be a hardcore redemption if they're gonna try and get me to like her. Ugh. Oh, oh, man. Ah, oh, Tanjiro is such a good character, dude. What a good boy. I will never get tired of him showing respect towards demons. Also, real quick, a lot of people seem to think that when I say that Tanjiro respects demons, I mean that, like, he finds them cool or something. But, like, I, ju I just mean, like, Tanjiro has respect for demon situations. Like, I love how after all of this, his fucking fingers are broken, Tengen almost dies, his best friend, Anosuke, almost dies. There's a fucking hole through the bottom of his jaw, which has somehow not been addressed yet. After all of this, Tanjiro still shows these demons respect. Like, that is, so and you like, buy it too. It's not just like, this weird, unwavering, like, it's not just that he's nice, you know? Like, it's entirely tied to his experience with Nezuko and who he is as a person. I get into, like, the breakdown analysis of Tanjiro's character in a video that'll link up here, so please go check that out. But, like, it, it's all so earned. Like, his attitude towards demons does kind of, like, ebb and flow or not ebb and flow, but it does get challenged, right? Like, fighting Daki, he fucking hated demons for a second. Like, unapologetically wanted to genocide the entire demon race. But after he almost defeated Daki's brother, he had this flash where he was like, in another world, this could have been me and Nezuko, and I understand through watching Nezuko how people can become corrupted like this. Like, I love not only that he just doesn't blindly hate demons, but I also love that in that, in staying true to that, he still gets development. Ugh. Banging writing. Incredible writing. Up. Oh, yep, here we go. Here comes the redemption. <laughs> Okay, but it doesn't look like she's trying that hard. What do you mean, ugly appearance? This dude's like an emo heartthrob. I really don't think he's the- OH MY GOD! Okay! F fuck, you're ugly! That's tough, man, sorry to hear that. Oh my god, what? <laughs> What, they burned her alive? And they just left her in like a smoldering crater? What? Oh! Oh! That wasn't Tanjiro's dad in the flashbacks? That's a fucking, that's like samurai who burned her alive. That makes so much sense. I don't know why I thought Tanjiro's dad like fought them in the past. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty hardcore redemption. <laughs> oh, fuck. I always forget that this show is, like, unbelievably graphic. Like, it looks so cute most of the time, 
and then it's like one of the most fucked shows I've ever seen. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have said that, actually. I'm definitely gonna get comments now being like, um, you think this is fucked? Th this show's not even that violent. Have you even seen the fucking Shingeki no Shinujin? The 1961 anime classic that never got subtitles or was released outside of Japan? No, I haven't seen Shingeki no Shinujin. I can't see all the anime. Sorry, I just got like super bitter out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> he... He cut through steel. But only the warrior who can't cut anything can cut through steel. Sorry, I just got to Alabasta in the One Piece manga, and this is my only outlet for that excitement. Speaking of other shows and manga and such, uh, right now would be a great time to explain how you guys can help support the channel. I have tons of ideas for upcoming projects that I'm super excited to get working on and bring to this channel, and your guys' support, uh, like, genuinely allows me to focus all of my time into doing that. So, how can you guys support the channel outside of just watching and liking and commenting? sharing, subscribing, all of the classic stuff people yell at you to do at the end of videos. The easiest way to support the channel is by subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll get access to exclusive videos every month not found on any other platform. In fact, my Patreon will be the only place that you can see my reaction to Food Wars, uh, the first video of which will be up by the end of this month. On top of that, you'll also get access to my private Discord server. Uh, a lot of you seem to be having fun there. We talk about anime, uh, movies, video games, Games, cats briefly it's been awesome I've been having a lot of fun just chatting with you guys interacting with you all it's been great we're really building like a nice little community so if you guys want to help support the channel get access to exclusive videos and be a part of that little discord community make sure you check out my patreon link in the description below thank you guys so much for those who are subscribing uh, for those who can't and I genuinely understand like I said just sharing the videos and commenting on them really helps a ton uh, I just want to set up the Patreon so that if people wanted to support a little more uh, and I can give something back to them in the form of the Food Wars reaction, uh, then that is how I can do that. <laughs> that was like barely a fucking sentence, but I think you guys understand what I mean. Anyway, that link will be below. Uh, check it out if you're interested. Uh, back to Demon Slayer. <laughs> can you at least finish eating your... The whole woman before you start chatting? Jesus, so oh my god, he's gorgeous! <laughs> okay, goddamn, that's brutal. So why is it when he became a demon, he also got like real into bracelets? Uh uh, you bastards. Ah, uh, you bastards. Ah, uh, don't make me give a shit about her. Ah, uh, I want to be so spiteful, though. <laughs> well, what the fuck? Don't take her that way. Why can't, why can't you both just go towards the light? So was the light heaven or is the light being reborn as a demon? And then this is just hell. Either way... B bummer. Hey, chill the fuck out, Beetlejuice. Tenga lost his hand like five minutes ago. Can you give him a second to recover before sending his ass back to work? Yo, did Tanjiro just get a fucking Hashiro letter of recommendation? Hype? Hype? Tanjiro... On the fast track towards- oh my god, this is ridiculous. That's either my desktop wallpaper right there, or I'm gonna get that tattooed on my bicep. I, I was so close to just being like, if I get 100,000 subscribers in the next two months, I'll get that tattooed on my bicep. As ridiculous as that would be, as incredible as that would be, I, like, cannot <laughs> risk that. There's, like, absolutely no way that would happen, but on the off, like, miracle that I got 100,000 subscribers in two months, my girlfriend would leave me if I got that tattoo. Okay, yeah, Akaza still has the single best design in the entire show. You kidding me, dude? Look, Akaza, like, fuck Akaza, right? Hashtag fuck Akaza because of Rengoku. 
But the dude's got a killer design. All right, that's the entertainment district arc. God, it's finally over. Nobody died somehow. W what a miracle. So that's sick. Very happy about that. Um, over the past couple weeks, I've been trying to decide whether I like Rengoku or Tengen more, just for that sweet clickbaity drama. And honestly, I have no idea. Rengoku's sick because he's got that, like, unwavering positive attitude, which I love and, like, deeply respect, as you guys know if you've watched my video on Mugen Train. And that's just super cool. I think that makes for, like, a really great character. He teaches Tanjiro a lot. Like, Tanjiro gets a lot of development through Rengoku during Mugen Train, which is awesome. His connection with his younger brother is fucking heartbreaking. Like, Rengoku's whole backstory I find very interesting. I think that's super cool. Tengen's backstory I don't really care about, like, his the stuff with his wives and his brother didn't really grip me, I don't really give a shit about any of that. I like Tengen's design a lot more than Rengoku's, I think his weapons are sick, I love that he's, like, an absolute maniac on the battlefield, like, he just gets his big-ass grin and, like, well, now that I think about it, I guess Rengoku does a similar thing, but Rengoku's grin during battle is more to, like, bolster others, like, to show others that, like, he is this, like, dominant force, like, he is going to lead them through the battle and that they can look at his smile and be inspired by it, whereas Tengen's is that of, like, a fucking lunatic, but I really, I really like that, I think that's fun, that Tengen just turns manic, uh, and almost maybe as if, like, trying to imitate Rengoku, like, that's kind of cool, and that could actually be the case. I could see, like, a theory of that. However, I do think that Rengoku, like, served his purpose. You know what I mean? Like, I, the fact that he's dead and we can't see any more of him definitely bolsters my affection for him. Like, I think if he were to continue to be alive and continue to be a character, I don't know if his, like, positive attitude and his whole, like, shtick would really, like have feel as fresh and like have as much of an impact if it like continued on tengen on the other hand like he's sassy he's there's more conflict with tengen right which like obviously breeds in, an interesting character tengen gets into fights with like uh zenitsu there's conflict between tengen and zenitsu because zenitsu knows he's like full of shit and there's tengen there's Tengen. There's tension between Tengen and Inosuke because they both are kind of trying to be like a similar archetype. And so that's cool. And that's why I think like Tengen has a lot more potential to like evolve as a character than Rengoku necessarily did. The other than dying, the only w place they could have taken Rengoku's character is if they like took him down a dark path where like almost where Tanjiro was headed, where it's, like, he, uh, um, like, his resolve sort of starts to waver, and, like, he's, like, you know, maybe I don't want to do this Hashira stuff anymore, maybe I, like, should become a demon, like, this is getting tiring, this is getting too difficult, my family doesn't really believe in me, maybe his brother dies, like, that is the only direction I could see Rengoku's character going while still staying interesting. But yeah, I think Rengoku's an absolutely amazing character that definitely needed to die. And I know, like, look, if you want to debate that in the comments, like, come fucking come at me. No, for real, I'd love to, I'd love to discuss it, but I think in terms of, like, a narrative sense, like, it's not even me being like, yeah, like, I, I'll get sick of Rengoku. It's like, I'm coming at, I'm forming this idea from the perspective of, like, a writer and a screenwriter that I am and that I've studied. But so anyway, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's season two of Demon Slayer. It was unbelievable. It was incredible. Also, congratulations, everybody. We hit 50k. That's awesome. I know the next thing that you're expecting to hear is, uh, where the Scathe Infinity dub reaction is. So that is definitely coming. Obviously, Jesus, motherfucking, um, somebody help me. I got all tangled. So obviously, th th this was my top priority because, you know, the episode came out, I wanted to react to it. S the Skate the Infinity dub, I'm still figuring out the format because I'd, I've already reacted to every episode of Skate the Infinity, so I don't want to do, like, this format. I think I may do, like, 
one just big video where I like react to certain bits of it, like highlights of the entire like season. My in order of succession, it's going, I'm going to get Food Wars to the Patreon users and then Skate the Infinity. That's next. That being said, I've also got a ton of other projects lined up that I'm very excited about. Not all revolving around anime. I want to do like a Dark Souls slash Elden Ring analysis video. Uh, and then I've got a video coming that I've really been wanting to do on The Incredibles. I think you guys will enjoy it. The Incredibles is sick. I don't know anybody who doesn't like The Incredibles, so... Oh, Demon, the Demon Slayer game is also high on the list. I think that I'm going to stream that and then upload, like, highlights of the stream... My god to YouTube. So if you don't follow me on Twitch, the link will be in the description below. Follow my Twitch and I'll keep everybody updated on when that stream is coming. So yeah, just giving you guys like a little 50k subscriber uh, update. Thank you guys so much. That's crazy. 50k subscribers, 15,000 followers on Instagram, 800,000 followers on TikTok. Well, how the fuck did I get here? I'm so, you guys have been so unbelievably supportive. All my content keeps like fluctuating and changing. And like, you guys have been with me every step of the way and like been so supportive through all of it. I've made gameplay videos. I've made analyses. I've made reactions. I've made reviews. And I just get like an unbelievable amount of love through all of it. And that means so much to me because it just gives me so much freedom to do what I want to make and that will then result in better content for you guys i feel but yeah i just really want to thank you guys for that kind of support like it really means the world to me and i will see you guys next time all right i think we go together like we sweaters and how weather you don't know and you would think that i would would just be dying for you and i just don't know